Hey Poyos, it's your boy Daddy Ike. I'll be showing you how to import your own Fates DLCs into a special program called Paragon and see your degenerate fantasies on your 3DS. Or, if you are a smart, intellectual being like myself, use an emulator like Citra. And by smart, I mean mentally challenged. Before I begin our great descent, I must give thanks to the folks in the 3DSE ROM hacking Discord and to the ones working on the Festival of Bonds translation. Truly wonderful people. First off, you need to have the required files needed. That, of course, are the DLCs, which are app files in your respective numbered folders. Now, how I did this is by going through my own 3DS with Luma and finding them there. I, of course, legally bought my game and DLC and in no way, shape or form got them in other dubious ways and installed them through Citra. You will have to get two tools, Macaram and the infamous CTR tool. Get both from the deepest depths of the Internet. Steal it from a child if you must. You're going to need them. And if by all accounts they don't work, sign your soul to the Nintendo Developer Circle and find them yourself. Good luck. The next tool you have to get is a ROMFs Builder. I will link the GitHub in the description below. Now make sure you have your app files, your two tools, and the program Paragon ready. We can finally start the process. There are two .bat files in the description. They are labeled in a way where even a nut-sized peepee -pee brain like myself can understand their purpose. First, you drag an app file to the get roamps from the app file .bat, and it should spit out roamps.bin. If you didn't get anything, well, your CTR tool is utter horseradish, and you will actually have to find one that works. Again, good luck. Next, you rename your file to the appropriate DLC. In this case, this is the Before Awakening DLC, and I'll name it so. Then take that file and drag it to the romfs to folder .bat. Then a folder will appear. Go to the local folder and see all the files available to you. Wow, look at that. That's one step closer of me writing my Corin X Crom fan fic, but I digress. Before we actually get into the nitty gritty, we first have to import the DLC entries using .json files through the old Paragon. Your game data .bin lz in your game data folder and your game data .bin lz in your 8m folder files will be the ones receiving the importing. The version I use is the Alpha 14, 3. Doing this will prevent the DLC classes, items being overwritten by any custom classes and items you make in the future. Save it. Copy the imported game data .bin lz files to their respective folders to the Paragon you use, and we can now hit that yoinky spoinky. Now when you look at your files, you'll realize that most of them are labeled as E000. Don't touch them. Just like the children you see across at the playground, you sick f Open your Paragon and click on the Chapters tab. Scroll down until you see E000. This is the one we are going to override temporarily. Copy your DLC files and place them in the Output Paragon folder. Reload or open your Paragon again and you'll see that something's a bit different. I, um, cannot tell, but when corporate asks me to find the difference between the two pictures, I, of course, tell them to f*** off. Within the same Chapters tab, Create a new chapter using the current E000 template and naming the CID for this particular DLC, CID E006. There are hints all over the DLC folder files that tell you what the CID should be. It's easily seen by going to the script's bev folder. Once you created a new chapter, the new CID should look the same as E000. That's when we save and start renaming the E000S within our output Paragon folder. In the Before Awakening case, every E000 file should be renamed to E006, with the map config being an exception, as it already has the E006 needed. Once you're done renaming all the E000 files, reload, reopen Paragon. You can see that the E000 chapter has been reverted back to its original state, like nothing happened. Also like that one incident involving a square and a man named Tian. When you click on your E006 chapter, the DLC will be imported into your build, and you can make changes to it now. Fantastic! Time to make my very questionable content involving Lissa, Morbid with a faceless. But daddy, you may ask, what about the DLC sounds folder? What do we do about that? I, um, 
Don't know. I'll get back onto you on that like those fathers going out to the groceries to get milk, never to return. Ignoring the sounds folder, we are now going to repackage the game as an app file. We cannot test our changes until we manage to do so. Remember how I said you have to rename to files? Well, now we are going to undo the renaming. Get all the files that you renamed and place them back in a separate folder, within the same directory as your MakerOM and CTAR tool. I would highly recommend copying the DLC folder again and just replace everything. Cross-reference the original DLC files and see what needs to be renamed back to E000. Once that's done, we'll open the ROMFS builder and select the new DLC folder we made and save it as a bin file. If you pay close attention to the zip file given, you would see there are two .sf files in there. Just make sure they are in the same place as your CTR tool and make ROM. Drag your bin file to the bin to app bat. Then rename the app file to its appropriate name. In this DLC's case, it is 00000040. And there you go, your app file is ready. Replace this new app file with the old one, and now you can see your work of art in true form. Ah, glorious. I hope this very questionable tutorial has set you to the right path of being a modder in Fire Emblem Fates. Have a good one.